Hey guys, Mario Number Three back here with another Minecraft Mario Party server update. Um, so let's just get right into it. I just finished a new board. This is Mystery Land. Um, so as you can see, there's the Shy Guy Curse Place. Uh, this is the Start Pyramid. Um, still might have some minor cosmetic changes to this place. But otherwise, I think it turned out pretty well. We got the Stonehenge and the Easter Island heads. If I can find a better way to make the Easter Island heads, I will. Um, that's my way of making them right now. Another Shy Guy place. And this thing. The uh, Black bob place. And then <laughs> this boo was a total accident. I was trying to make something else, but it, it's now one of my favorite boos. Um, I'm calling it Accordion Boo. So, there's the Accordion Boo. Um, what other boards have I done? Um, last time, I was currently working on Pirate Land. I finished that. I think that's this way. Um, haven't made too many new boards. It's only Mystery Land. I finished Pirate Land. And then, there's another one. And then, it's mainly minigames. Um, so I don't know how much of this was showed, so I'll just show it all. Uh, we got a pirate boot with two eye patches, um, and the normal stuff here. We got the ships that I know weren't there before. Um, here's one ship, and there's another ship over there, just like it. Over here we have the gaming grotto, which is full of secrets, and then. See, we got the bridges and all that, the thwomps, or the, yeah, thwomps. And then, we have another ship. I made the ships, and I think they look pretty well. Um, new, uh, thing for stars that I'm gonna start implementing to all the boards. It's only in this one, Mystery Land, I think. Maybe the other new board I made, but, uh, beacons as the stars, so we know where they are. Um, so that's new. We have Spleef over here, which... It's the only minigame that's not Mario Party related. I just figured since it's Minecraft, it's like one of the famous Minecraft minigames, might as well put Spleef in here. Um, now we're getting mixed in with the old games. I can't remember which ones I did not show and which ones I did. Um, I think this one's new Buried Treasure from Mario Party 1. Just dig until you find the treasure chest. These I showed. Um, this one is Doggy Chase based off of Chimp Chase from Mario Party 5. Basically in these chests are bones and you gotta grab them and whoever uh, gets the most dogs and turns them their color wins. Now, let's see. I don't know if I showed Dodge Bomb before but I did change it a little bit. It's gonna be... there are creeper spawners in there right now. So it's a little bit different if I didn't show up, but basically whoever survives longest might get blown up by a creeper. Um, this is castaways, you take a fishing rod, um, and you get rid of the paintings, and you get the amount for that one, I believe. Um, it's like one, five, ten. And then you just, yeah, you know when you get it. Here's Snowball Summit. You grab one snowball from here and throw it at people, knock them off. Thing is, if you're gonna grab a snowball, you're gonna be close to the edge, so people might get you. Um, this is one of the diving minigames from Mario Party One. I don't exactly remember the name, but basically, you dive down, get coins and stuff, and then go back up, put them in your chest. One of them was deep sea divers. I think that's two v two. Again, I don't remember the name. Doesn't really matter. Um. Triple jumps discontinued because there's no way to really work that. Otherwise, no new mini games over here except this one. It says Hammer Drop. Mario Party 1. It basically drops coins and whatnot. All of this redstone work done by Mata and the Hammer Row 2. Um, all those are the same. Pushy Cows was there. Raking a man got a little redstone makeover. A lot of the redstone stuff got a makeover. This one got a make makeover too a little bit. 
Breaking a man's a little bit different. Um, right here we have slap down, which is it'll shoot a color out. We pick one of these nine colors. That's the color you want. And when it comes out, you push a button, and a firework comes out. If you're right and you're first, you win. If you're wrong, you uh, lose. Uh, coconut conk. Pretty sure this one is, wasn't in there. Uh, this game still needs to be tested out on how well it's gonna work. We have snowballs, which I throw them down at the person down there. Um, I'm not sure if this game's gonna work entirely that well, but we'll see. Uh, this is was Boulder Ball, discontinued, <laughs> didn't work well at all. Um, over here, messy memory got a little bit of a facelift. Um, with the clay pots, I changed it up a little bit. So. Basically, we look over there, and then we just work here and not look back, otherwise you got uh, cheat. Um, cheap, cheap chase, just add fireworks to the end. I did that for a few mini games, just had a fireworks in just to, so people know if they finish first and stuff. It just makes it, and it makes it cooler. Um, all this stuff was already here. Um, I don't know if I showed this one. This is the dual mini game from Mario Party 2. Basically, the one with the bow and western land, and then you turn around and shoot. Um, I think this was already here. I added a podium thing up here for the Mario Party, for first, second, third, and fourth on each side, so it's just five. So it looks nicer. So yeah, this would be the podium. Um, that was already there, I believe. This was Mod's failed rendition of Toad in the Box. Um, no clue how it was supposed to work, but yeah, tone the box, everybody. Um, hot rope jump. I think I showed this one, but if I didn't, basically it shoots out, and you gotta jump over it. It shoots at like regular intervals, I believe, and whoever lasts the longest without getting burned wins. Um, this game's under progress. I don't know if it even it's gonna work. It's all it's supposed to be all fired up for Mario Party 3. I'm trying to think about how to work that in. Um Ridiculous Relay got a facelift with uh, fireworks. And the line got discontinued because the game never really was good. Um Tyrope Treachery, giving it another shot. Uh made the platform a little bit wider and we're gonna use snowballs, because I think knockbacks only worked at one of the updates recently. Um, right here we have pushy cows. Basically, cows come out of those. We're supposed to hold wheat. We go here, and then they push us off. Um, I'm here for moral support. Uh, showed all these. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bob on Barrage got turned into cheap, cheap sweep from Mario Party 4. So whoever catches the most fish wins. Um, this is the game where you have to catch the ocelot. Foul play from my pretty three, except with cat. Um, this one is pixel perfect. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I think I'm just gonna like have random numbers, and whoever makes it first wins. Like the black wool is the number, and the white wool surrounds it. Um, this is creeper broadside. I'm gonna have creepers over there, and whoever kills them all first wins as a team. Um, show that. This is Ice Rank Risk from Mario Party 3. Zombies will shoot out. Whoever survives longest wins, you cannot punch the zombies. This is the beat goes on. We have all the different colored fireworks. Um, so one person starts, they shoot a fireworks like say light gray. The next person shoot light gray and then a new one, and we just keep going on until somebody fails. Until they all fail, and so it's one person's left. Um, right here is slime time. Basically, there's going to be a bunch of slimes in here we're going to have. And they're just going to pretty much be bouncing us around until somebody gets the 10 gold nuggets in the chest. Um, right here, Mario Medley. You start on that end, come here, swim, get the music disc, go back, put it in there. And something I still need to add on this side is to put... Um, then you come back on this side and there's going to be uh, fireworks here, so you shoot the firework up. And that means you win. Um, right here is Musical Mushroom, um, we're going to do this in like a tournament format, um, 1v1, so like, so one 
V1, yeah. They walk around. One person that's not playing is going to be singing. And then they're going to stop randomly, and whoever gets the chest first wins. They move on to the finals. Same with the other two. And then those two face off against each other, and whoever gets that wins the coins. Um, right here is locked out for Mario Party 3. Uh, so there's three keys in this room, two in that and one in that. And, yeah, I'm not going to go in there because it'll shut the game. Even though that's what I'm supposed to do, but, um, I don't want to see where the keys are. Right here is, I guess I'll give you a preview of what it looks like in there. Yeah, there's, like, keys hidden in there and stuff. Um, right here is... It's supposed to be based off of Picture This from one of the later Mario Parties. I turned it to Firework This. Basically, two colors will come out of this. And there's wool and stuff to make fireworks in here. And whoever makes the firework with the two colors first wins. Um, right here is based off of Willpower from Mario Party 6, I believe. Basically, whoever grows um, both mushrooms first wins. Um, and with the since you can't plant mushrooms in the light, right? Yeah, you need they need to be dark. You need to surround them with dirt and then plant them and then grow them. So, yep. Uh, this is Mr. Blizzard's Brigade, just like um, Musical Mushroom. This is going to be in a tournament format, or actually no, I'm, I moved it to a team format. I have one person on the ice for each team, and one person each team on the outside throwing snowballs. at the person on the ice, and whoever survives on the ice wins their team. Um, right here is Fish and Drips, I think, for Mario Party 4. Um, the one player has to get a bucket, get that water, and then run around. And pour it in here and fill that up. And the three team has to fill the bucket up, throw it to their partners, throw it to their partner, fill it, and throw it back. Um, probably does need to be tested to make sure it's fair, but I think it should be. Um, hide and go boom from Mario Party 4. Um, just like hide and go sneak. They hide in here. Um, hopefully they can't see names. Um, oh, I don't think they can. Sometimes you can like see names even if they're shifting. If you like, they're really close. Gotta see that. But um, the difference in hide and go boom is you can't switch where you are. So yeah. So that's that one v three game. You know. Um, this is the um cliffhanger from Mario Party Four. It's gonna be a team game. The first two to parkour their way to the top wins as a team. Uh, right here is... I always forget this game's name. Mary Go Chomp. Um, I built a nice little chomp there. He's so cute. Uh, Mary Go Chomp. Basically, we pick a color and then... Boom! Red's out. And yeah, do that until there's one person left. It's a battle game. Um, This is Ground Pound Down. Basically, there's a bunch of different blocks in there that I have no clue what they are. Um, and first one to the bottom wins. This one has fireworks as well down there. Right here is from Mario Party 6. That's from Mario Party 5. Um, Mario Party 6, we have what goes up and what goes down. So basically, this one's a parkour up. Um, this game might actually take a while, but... And there's also fireworks here. Um, and this one's what goes down. Try to make it a little bit complicated to go down. And there's fireworks down there as well. Um, right here is same as lame from our party six. Basically, we pick an item. If you have a different item than everybody else, you move up one. And yeah, right here is stacked deck. Really easy. Slimes are Bowser. Zombies are Boo. And mushrooms are our toads. So, we used Yu Gi Oh cards for that before, so let's make it in the game, actually. This one is. Ocelots and fishing rods. Um, this one is Slot Cinch, I believe. Slot Cinch? No. Etch and Catch. 
Basically, one teammate catches fish, gives them to the other teammate, and they have to catch an ocelot, and put, right, put them here, where we catch the most ocelots. Um, etch and catch is the one where you, like, circle around the toads, so it's kind of like that. Um, right here is picking panic from five or six, I believe. Um, plant a sapling, the other person has bone meal. Um, whoever gets the most apples wins. Kind of based on luck, but one Mario Party isn't. This is Trapeze Artist from one of the later Mario Parties, where we're going to have villagers walking around, and you press your button to trap them in, whoever's the most in wins. Right here is Tile Error. One team's going to be blue, one's going to be red. Um, after the time limit, whoever has the most uh, wool there wins. Easy as that. Um, right here is a hole. Um, this is Rock and Raceway from Mario Party 3. We have a pig, we have a carrot on a stick, and we have to go through this obstacle maze, and whoever makes it to the end first wins. Um, I actually I love this mini game. I think it's great. I could make it longer, and I might. Uh, I'm thinking about that. And there's fireworks at the end, because it can easily be longer. It actually goes by quick. Um, I'm not going to go through it, because... I want to wait until we actually play the game to go through it. Um, right here is Shy Guy Says. Basically, we have red on the left, white on the right. And how this is going to work is it'll shoot out something, shoot out red, and the last person to shoot it out gets eliminated, and we do that four times. You either get eliminated you're the last, or you do the wrong one. So it's um, timing based. Put the red back in there. Um... I'm going to say that one for last because I'm proud of that game. And I think we only have this game and that game there. Uh, this is uh, board. This is Goomba's Greedy Gala from Mario Party 4. Um, it still might need a little cosmetic changes. Like, a lot of the boards have, like, you know, like those Derp Yoshis and those melons that fill the board. Um, I only have this dice and some coins around. So I have to, like, work on that a little bit. Here's the thing that grabs you. Um, and like puts you on different sides. I'm pretty much just gonna use like RAM number generator for that too. You can pay the Goomba, all these 8 bit Goombas that I got. Um, I think that's my first Mario Party 4 board. Here's the lottery thing. Um, might want to make that a little bit different cosmetically. Um, we have those Goombas that like roll the dice with you, whoever gets the highest wins. Um, we have this game back here where you're supposed to get coins. Um, might need a little bit more testing. I tested it once, and like sometimes the minecart gets in the way of you opening the chest. So have to figure that out. Um, we have the slot machine here, which I want somebody else to rebuild because it looks kind of stupid. Um, so I'll have somebody else do that. Um, and we have this abomination of a boo that I made. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to make a pink boo, and it turned out like this, and it looks so stupid that I kept it. So, let's go, Mr. Grimbergala. There's a village over there. They're nice and happy. There's so many villages over there. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Okay, and the last minigame, which I am extremely proud of. Just clear my inventory. Over here is... Bombs Away. Um... This is a minigame that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I've never really had an idea for it. And I finally got an idea. So this one I'm, I'm going to show. So what would happen is we're all going to be on there. Hit this, and then the person who hits it flies over here. Switch game mode real quick. And all four of them should go around the same time. Um, yep. And then they'll fly up here. And you're gonna try to avoid them, not die, not fall in the water like I just did, because I panicked. So, and if you're still on there, you win. Like if you're on one of those. Um, most of the time, they'll hit the island. Sometimes one of them will go short or long or left or right. But I am really proud of this game, and I like it a lot. That it turned out pretty well. Um, I think it is decently hard where. Everybody can fall off and all that, and it's it's hard enough where everybody can fall off, but it's not that hard where everybody can still win if they stay on. And 
And I'm gonna make it where you can uh, punch each other too. <laughs> Most likely. Um, so, just get the grass like that. Easy peasy. And gotta put the TNT back in. So, um, I believe I covered every new thing that we have put in. Oh crap. That's not gonna end well. Forgot you gotta turn this off. So I'm pretty sure that's um every new thing that's been added in the server is in water, so that's fine. In the the server for now, um really I've looked at mini games. There's not too many more mini games you can make in Minecraft unless we get a new update. Um I'm still gonna probably do that in the future. Like look for mini games um to do. But really, I'm I'm at about 80, 90 mini games right now. And there's still not really that many left to, that can be done. Um, so mini games, not much. Boards do take a long time, and I really only do them if I really feel like it. I did Mystery Land only because I wanted I wanted to do all of the Mario Party 2 boards, which we have now. Um, I did that one because I wanted one for Mario Party 4. But yeah. Um, like I said, there's not many more mini games to do, honestly, and boards take a long time. So I just wanted to show this off right now because I might not be doing a lot on building in this. Um, hopefully, I'll be playing it a lot because there's a lot of fun games to play and all that. And so that is it for uh, this part of Mario Party the server tour. Um, just let you guys know I'm not giving this world away, and this is a private server, so I'm not giving the IP away, so um, this is just for me and my friends, and this is probably the... Um, I'm really proud of this server and everything built on it, and it's my greatest Minecraft accomplishment. I don't really want to give that away, um, so sorry about that, but if I ever do build stuff in more mini games in the future, I will most likely make another video. So I will see you then.